like this is all deal with it when it's happened what are the interventions that can be done upstream and you mentioned earlier about the traits right so what are the common traits yeah again if you're somebody so say because a lot of what we still see is arranged marriages right and it'd be good from if if i was a person who's going to be in arranged marriage and i was looking at the traits of another person thinking okay this could potentially lead to some things really really far upstream i'm talking now what are the type of things that you've seen amongst abusers what are the common characteristics men or, like, or women? common characteristics upstream you mean what from like what sense of from the like uh beginning of the relationship is that what you mean yeah 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 exactly so early it's early di- on yeah yeah it, it's it's about it's very difficult to stop from the initial because this is where it needs to be like a nationwide open campaigns everywhere as much awareness as you can raise but like the it's funny prevent campaign yeah, yeah like example you had black lives matter the blm movement it's everywhere yeah, yeah. everyone understood yeah. got raised awareness on racism right it brought it to the right. everyone's discussion whether they like it or not why can't yeah. domestic abuse be on that same level it, when it can happen to anyone like right. example go. racism yeah, yeah. right may not happen to you may not right we may don't know right whether you get it or not but domestic abuse, you have a higher chance of suffering from it than any other thing. Yeah. But the thing is, we don't just seem to discuss, talk about it. I don't know why. It's just, it's not one of them things that, you know, people want to say, oh, keep it in the house. You know, we don't want everyone to know about it. I think mm. it's just about realizing that if you, once you become, the, yeah, people mm. only give a shit once they vic- or become a victim of it. Yeah, of course they, they know do. someone is a victim of it. Other Most than that, people no one think that way about anything though. Like if, yeah, if, it, yeah, if it doesn't, until it impacts me, it ain't a problem. What? COVID it- infection, man. COVID infection. COVID. Number one, all these brown people don't get the vaccine. And then they come in yeah. with COVID. And they're like, I'm going to tell everyone now it's real. I'm like, yeah, you do that, man. Go and tell everyone it's real. Because <laughs> now, now it's affected you now. Now you know. Look, with coronavirus mm. pandemic, it, domestic abuse went up threefold. Of course it did, because everyone's at home. Right. And they spent more time together. And you must have been at your busiest at that time. I was it, I when I was working throughout the whole of COVID, and I remember we were working remote. Regardless, we were busy every day. It was, we had four, three hundred cases pending, you know, just case after case. And uh, there was a, there was an interesting stat. I think the first uh, it was very sad. I think the first three weeks of lockdown, fourteen mm. women were killed in uh, uh, in lockdown. So, the, but yeah, fourteen women were murdered in a domestic abuse relationship. Um, that that sh- it shows That's, and it's still yeah. yeah and and it peaks so Chris, the, the the abuse will peak during christmas easter and it, these sort of periods are peak why does it peak at christmas christmas is a joyful time yeah As why is get alcohol yeah you put families can't you know families get together people can't behave um i don't know it's just like that time of period where you want to go and see your family i don't know it's just that time where people go off and Al- yeah alcohol fueled and it's just these holiday periods are always is where it peaks mm. and uh, uh but it's it's going to happen throughout the year anyway but it's just very high in those times and um with covid it was very difficult for many uh women because or, 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 me- or vi- other vic- victims in general because you have the lockdown and many refugees were closed so they can't even get out of the house no, they um, can't. And, and and it was such a unpredictable time police didn't know what to do in these times whether yeah. they go inside the house or not yeah and yeah, we yeah, yeah. we were go- we were dealing with cases where you had the abuser is just literally in the other room and i've had one where i was talking talk to a punjabi lady and yeah. uh and she was in a joint family she's from india and she was talking to me and the the, the father-in-law came in shouting at her uh like oh uh, why are you on the phone with uh, who are you on the phone with and i just told her you, say could, you could hear this you yeah could hear i heard this. it all um, right, okay. very, yeah, go yeah, I said to her, just say social services. Like, you have got, you got to be on the, you got to be good at, like, in this job, you got to know what to say. You got to think on your feet, man. Quick. Yeah. So right. I said, so, say social services. Don't say domestic or whatever. And she said yeah, it, and yeah. he was just shouting at her on the phone. I stayed on the line just in case if things escalate. And these you things, know, yeah, to call. yeah, 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 yeah. And and uh, you got to be. It, it was a very very COVID just COVID accelerated more, and it got it to. It went in. It was quite. During the lockdowns, it was on the news. It, it was, was spoken right. about the news, yeah. Like pe- people were saying that the numbers of domestic violence had gone up during lockdown. Yeah, but like I said, you, you only care if it happens, and it just. It's, do you remember uh, when you, we uh, yeah. were on a holiday, Indy? Yeah. And uh, that campaign was running about the government. You probably saw it about the signal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the signal yeah. for uh, I think being it's like abducted this, or suffering this, from domestic violence. That. You, yeah, you do that. So you have your yeah. thumb out and then you do that and you just For those of you who are, who are listening, basically it's a, it's a hand sign. So the hand sign is yeah. you have an open palm, you put your thumb into the middle of your palm and you wrap your fingers around it. And yeah. that's a sign for you to say to somebody else, I'm suffering from domestic violence. Help me. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically yeah. a signal. Yeah. That, has that, saved that, that emerged. Life. In America, yeah. there was a news, uh, there was a girl trapped, kidnapped in a car and she did right. this hand signal to the car behind 
with her hand out and the car behind knew what it was called the police yeah. and saved her so yeah. it's, it's d- important it um, works it mean, man it does work yeah like just to drop a stat like in general about domestic abuse in the uk uh between march 2018 and march 2019 2.4 million adults experienced domestic abuse that's reported fucking million and that's like you said that's just reported a lot of cases we Bro, don't know about. and 1.6 out of the 2.4 1.6 will be men and 786,000 were men so that's still got, a lot man that's, that's still a lot reported. of men that people think is like higher than higher yeah. than you would have thought. So that's that's one third men, two thirds women. That's some rough maths I've just done, but yeah. It's mad. It's mad. Um, you you know you're looking at you know, it's 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 crazy when you look at the numbers. You know they say uh, one in four women will be affected by domestic abuse. Um, you know these sort of stats one that in come four out. One women. Yeah. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's see that hits yeah, home, man. Because yeah. if you're sitting in a room and you you can be like. That's a very high... 25%. One of you that's, that's will f- sustain, be in a toxic yeah. relationship in one form or way. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's mad. Like, they, you can, I mean, the government, they are bringing the domestic vi- abuse bill, which yeah. were mm. meant to be giving more increased powers for the police, uh, provide a definition on domestic abuse, vast ranges of things they want to include, uh, which was brought in, uh, it was initi- initiated by Theresa May, um, but yeah. it's it's been passed. Um, I think it's still going through like the House of Lords back and forth, and then they'll sign it. It has been, it's, it's, it, you know, it came, it came, it has come into power, but it's it's being refined, but it still takes time. You know, it's a long process. 